Using Swipe.js library is very simple. First, make sure you include a link to the Swipe.js library. Then, just create a div element where you want the slider to be displayed. Make sure uh, you specify a, a very specific ID later you are going to use. Also, make sure uh, you assign a CSS class both to the outer div and the inner one. After all, we need some CSS to uh, set a specific look and feel we want to get. Now, each one of the slides is an image, so make sure you have all images ready for use. You can place them in a separated folder. Now to the JavaScript code. Just create a new object. You can imagine that you are using the swipe constructor. Passing over two arguments. The first is a reference for the DOM object that represents this uh, div outer element. So that the code within the swipe function will know where to draw the slider. slider. The second argument should be an object with uh, properties that object configures the swipe.js library or to be more precise configures the specific slider we are going to see over here instead of this development this specific slider the start slide property specifies the slide you want the slider to start with speed sets uh, how fast the transition from one slide to the other will take place so now it is 300 milliseconds let's change it into let's say 100 milliseconds let's refresh and see that now it is much faster let's get it back to 500 um, auto property is assigned with the number of milliseconds you want uh, each slide to be displayed let's change it into 1000 and see that now each slide uh, is displayed for 1000 milliseconds let's change it back to 3000 you can see the change the difference Uh, the continuous property assigned with uh, true means that we are going to get uh, an ongoing slider, a continuous slider that uh, never stops.